Hey, so a couple of days ago, I asked my non-subscribed viewers to subscribe to my channel, and boy was I blown the fuck away. I got like 330 new people that day. Thank you so much for subscribing, boys. Um, I'll never forget that. That was really mind-blowing. That, that, that really made my day. 330 people in one day. That's, those are numbers never before achieved on this YouTube channel. So yeah, thank you again. Um, I really appreciate it. Now I'm going to give you uh, a, a weapon review. Um, I'm going to review a literal seven. A seven shaped weapon. So threatening, so thick. Uh, looking like it came out of a concentration camp. Look at the stick part. Like, what the fuck? What kind of shit is this, honestly? Something like a Vietnamese man would beat his children with it because they weren't toiling at the factory hard enough. But yeah. Um, I got like a perfect tier ribbon right here. Negative to infested, attack speed, crit chance, melee damage. And uh, I really like that one. It, it lets me have a very juicy um, hybrid builds for this weapon. We got condition overload, blood rush uh, build that does corrosive right here. We got um, a viral version because you, you people really like viral. Uh, me too, actually, kind of-ish. And yeah, um, wh what can I say about Doc Ram except it's a it's a viable com uh, alternative to Graham Prime, and uh, I don't say that uh, that's not something common. All right, Mister Seven Shaped Weapon. Uh, these are the parts for it, so don't ask me what they were. Um, let's get on with the test. All right, um, the 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 numbers you've seen them, you've seen how good they look. Let's get on with it. Corrupted heavy gunner bombards. Let's go. We are ready. All right. This might be the corrosive build. Yeah. Look at that. It's pretty much one of those delete weapons. All right. Um. So this thing is one of those things where you're like, man, I love play grip path. It's such a good pole arm, but I wish I had a heavy blade that also looked extremely non-threatening and twig-like. Uh, so yeah, the Doc Cram is that answer, is the answer to that question. A heavy blade that looks like it weighs approximately 2.3 pounds. But yeah, boy does it sure pack a punch, um, uh, despite its, um, pathetic looks. So yeah, um, it deletes, the, the corrosive, uh, build deletes these boys, um, cuts their armor off immediately. Let's check the viral build, let's see if it's any different. Let's check that out. Alright. Here we go. Looks to be about the same, if not a little better. Um, we should do it on some Leech Eximus units. I just want to find out if... Um, I think Corrosive is going to be better on Leech Eximus units. Not sure, though. Um, is there any Leeches there? That's two Leeches. Arson and an Arson. Alright, Viral Build first. Let me try to kill these guys with this pathetic fucking piece of shit beam fucking lame ass trash. Oh god, what a pathetic weapon, what a fucking travesty. Um, that's not the correct use of that word, probably. Alright, let's go. No, 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 a, a raging bull combo, please, thank you. So yeah, we got um, 25,000 damage bleeds, and we get the kill. Pretty nice. Oh, this is a uh, corrosive. Hey, I like. Or is it? I'm only doing corrosives. Okay. Am I? Am I nuts? Am I? Have I completely gone bonkers? This is the corrosive build, right? No, it's the viral build. I did not proc one viral proc on that leech eximus. Ain't that something? Oh my god, three leeches. Okay. This is gonna be a viable test. Alright, I wanna see what this is. Oh my god, that's that's actually really good. Hey. So yeah, um I'm pretty sure I actually I'll go with viral. I'll say viral's better. I don't care, it doesn't matter that much. But yeah, since um this Riven has crit chance in it, I I pretty uh, I pretty much have no other choice but to go condition overload and blood rush 
because this thing had 25% status, so I was primarily going to make it do Blood Rush. But yeah, I snagged this ribbon from one of my friends, and boy, is it fucking juicy. So yeah, there's a, there's your Doc Ram. Um, we can do um, heavy blade speeds that have never before, that were never before seen in this world. Let me do just strike real quick. Now you're going to see some melee speed that uh, is completely unnecessary. Just for the shits of it, you know? Just because just cause, just cause we can do it. Holy what the fuck? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Maybe this is a viable build. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this Doc Ram is nothing less than very impressive. Um, very viable alternative to both Grand Prime and Plague Cripath. Let's test the Plague Cripath real quick. I have a hyper meta build that's corrosive, viral, spin crit, condition overload, blood rush. Basically, the most meta of the meta Plague Cripath builds. It's the most meta melee weapon with the most meta combination of of things to do. It's spin crit. It's all this shit that's overplayed. So yeah, let's give that a shot. So yeah, kills fast, but Doc Ram ain't far behind. It's probably not even a little bit behind because um, it's just it just it's just fast as fuck. That's the, that's the deal with it. But anyways, um, I think Plague Smegmis is will, will scale a lot further than this Doc Ram maybe. Because I put this uh, Plague Cripath against level like two, th like 500, 600, 700 index enemies and I could kill them with this thing. I'm not sure if that's possible with this uh, Doc Ram. But it might be actually. Y you never know. So, yeah. Um, I need to... Uh, should I real... Should I test this? I mean, you've seen... Like, there's, I don't think there's a reason to give this weapon a try. It's not a teleport stick. I don't know how to teleport to a place, you know, with without my Architytron. It's literally impossible. How do I do a seamless transition? Man. I know, I'll, I'll, I'll literally throw myself off of some shit and we'll do... We'll, we'll see what it, what happens, where, where that takes us. Okay. All right. Um, equip... Wiglaze. Oh, I also need to remove Arcane Strike. Gotta have my tankiness. Where my tankiness at? Alright, guys. Pro tip. This is the best possible tanky tankiness addition to your frame. If you want to make it survive shit, this is what you do. I have ad adaptation on as well. And handspring. I, I, I hate dying, so I have all that shit there. Yeet. Alright, seamless transition is over. Um, here we go. What do we have? A fucking mobile defense on Jupiter. I really like these. Mm. I'm gonna spin crit this like I'm using a, uh, like a, like I'm using a maiming strike play crit path. Oh, alright. Let's remedy this situation. Alright, I should have taken... I do have attack speed. There we go. That that actually works. Good. Hey. I like that. Alright, Wiggles, you better give me the fucking thing that I want to see. It doesn't have that one-shot power like the Gram does. Maybe I should have uh, put on uh, Drifting Contact so I have like a little bit of one-shot power. You know? You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, in, in regular missions where there's like little pieces of shit, um, invest a little bit more into one-shot power instead of um, scaling. So if you're going to do a Blood Rush build, get get a, little, get a little bit of combo duration or get Naramon. I know nobody gets Naramon because who the fuck would ever pass up on 5 energy a second. But yeah, um, I don't know what you expected to see here except a really good melee weapon that does what it's supposed to. Just like always, uh, a thing that 
Look, these are little 80s. They die, okay. Nothing much happens except that they get fucked. But yeah, um, a thing to glean from this is why don't you um, give it a little bit of one-shot power? Because it does good damage against all of those heavy targets, but that's because we hit them a million times and very fast. The enemies, you don't want to spend like 20 hits on each enemy. Like, the 20 hits will fucking kill it, but... Do you really want to waste that much time on uh, a single enemy sometimes? Like, look at this guy. I'm going to waste like five hits trying to kill him. See? Like, not the best. But it has power nonetheless, you know? As soon as you find more enemies um, next to each other, shit starts going down real fast, you know? God damn it. Okay. Well, um... This is pretty much everything you need to know. Let's uh, hit a heavy guard, Kuva Guardian, and then I'll let you go. Um, let's get some combo on them. Okay, I hope I hope this can kill them because it's my only hope right now. I didn't kill him. Maybe I should have went with a <laughs> different damage type. Viral seems to do a lot better than these guys because they're very resistant to status. That's why they tank uh, many fast-hitting melee weapons. But yeah, um, do I have anything else I can smack him with? Probably. This plasma. Fire rate plasma, am I right? Hell yeah. I didn't use this thing in a while. I forgot how much I enjoyed it. Um, that, my friend, was the grenade of a Hayaka Master that was all the way over there. And she was definitely looking at this enemy, but the grenade decided to fly over to kill me instead. And that's what happens 99% of the time, even where you, when you're completely invisible. The Hayaka Master will fucking find you with that grenade. She could be facing this way, and the grenade will come flying that way and kill you. Guaranteed. And that's the thing I love about this game. The Hayaka Masters do over 2,000 damage per second with their stupid fucking flamethrowers. And their grenades not only are a fucking aimbot, they do like 5,000 damage, I think. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna leave you with that. Have a nice day.